हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल सिक्स सिग्मा बाय एम बी मोहित शर्मा टुडेज वीडियो इज अ रिक्वेस्टेड वीडियो देर आर सो मेनी रिक्वेस्ट फ्रॉम द व्यूअर्स दैट आई क्रिएट अ वीडियो ऑन नॉमिनल लॉजिस्टिक रिग्रेशन आई नो दिस इज अ वीडियो ऑन एडवांस स्टैटिस्टिक्स एंड इट इज नॉट एप्रिशिएटेड बाय द मासिस हाउ एवर आई स्टिल क्रिएटेड इट एज सम ऑफ यू रियली वॉन्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस टूल सो दिस इज स्पेसिफिकली फॉर द पीपल हु लव स्टैट्स and it is your responsibility to spread this so that this video also goes viral before we start this video let me tell you what is nominal data when we study data we consider two variables one is numerical and the other one is categorical numerical variables are classified into continuous and discrete data and categorical variables are classified into nominal and ordinal data so the definition is nominal data is a classification of categorical variables that do not provide any quantitative values ordinal data is in order but there is no order in categorical variable for example type of ice creams could be vanilla chocolate or strawberry is a nominal type of data and when it is studied with customer age gender then it becomes nominal logistic regression that we can use Let us take an industry example to understand how nominal logistic regression works. One of the company is manufacturing electric geysers. The customer satisfaction is considered as categorical data which has three variables. One is happy, neutral and unhappy customers. The two predictor variables are time to deliver the order which is called TAT and the second one is accuracy levels called accuracy standards which are at two levels met or not met let us see how can we run this analysis in minitab 19 the first step is to paste the data in minitab then go to stat go to regression and then nominal logistic regression so i'm staying here for a moment go to stat go to regression and then nominal logistic regression and then click you will get this kind of a window in this window under response enter customer satisfaction and under model enter both predictor variables under categorical predictor enter accuracy standard and then press okay you will get the results in the session window let us understand the results system has automatically picked up unhappy as the reference event and i am good with that otherwise you can change it as well Now the next thing is that we go and check the p value of test for all scopes equal to 0 and in this case it is less than 0.05 which suggests that at least one of the predictor variables is impacting customer satisfaction Now we check the goodness of fit test goodness of fit test also shows a high p value which indicate that the bottle is good to go This value should be greater than 0.05 more the merrier so in our case it is more than 0.05 so we are good to go we can see there are two logits in logit 1 customer satisfaction from neutral to unhappy is studied p value of tat is 0.003 which indicates that it is significant predictor variable if you look at the coefficient value which is a negative value which indicates that the company takes more time to deliver the products customer satisfaction goes down accuracy standards p value is greater than 0.05 hence it is not a significant contributor in logit 2 p value of tat is 0.026 which means that time to deliver the product is contributed to customer satisfaction negative coefficient here is also indicating that more time we take the lesser the customer satisfaction p value of 0.000 for accuracy standard means that it is also a significant contributor to customer satisfaction negative coefficient here indicates that the accuracy standard not met leads to more customer dissatisfaction so this is a good model and it can be considered so friends i hope you would have understood what is nominal data and what is nominal logistic regression and how it can be performed in minitab and how it can be interpreted also So if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and share this video with your friends thanks for watching